Hey guys, Django here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the Soviet IL-4 sitting at 3.0 battle rating. We're doing some bombing today. I am of course flying for my rank reviews. It's been too long since I paid attention to that, but I'm flying for rank 2 Soviet again and rank 6 Sweden. Um, I think I think probably, I always said that rank 6 uh, Sweden is going to come first, but I may, I'm may i actually enjoying rank 2 uh, Soviets right now. So I might actually finish that first and then uh, do the two jets that I haven't flown yet for rank 6 Sweden. And we'll get into that uh, as well. So uh, th that's going to be fun and I'm going to go full in on the rank reviews again. I'm going to try to uh, get them out as quickly as I can and I'll throw out a poll pretty soon what... Uh, you guys want the nation, the next nation to be the nation after the, the finish the Soviets, um, and I'm gonna put all nations in there if I can. Let's see what happens there. Probably U.S. or uh, or Germany, right? At least that's what I would assume. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, the IL-4, it's an interesting little bomber. Uh, not the best bomber in the world, but definitely uh, very workable. I looks like a medium bomber right maybe even light um, but um, the maximum speed in this thing uh, at sea level without web is 292 and with web 306 at 4500 meters 283 without web and 309 width and finally at 6500 meters it's 260 without web and 284 width this is not a fast plane guys these speeds are in indicated airspeed by the way without mech uh, not a fast plane. It is pretty slow, actually. Is it better in a dive? There's a top speed in a dive, of course. 570 is the red line and 630 is the rip speed. Well, all right, I guess. 3.0 in a straight line. It's definitely slow. In a dive, well, it definitely compresses a lot, so you're gonna be hard pressed to get out of the dive uh, at around the red line. At 500, it's already really pushing in. You have two big control stiffening ticks where the compression starts to get worse, especially in the roll rate. 325, and at 450, there's a second tick, but that is also an indication where 450, the second big number, where you really start to compress and also in the elevator and at 500 it, it becomes significantly worse in the elevator so yeah you're gonna crash into the ground if you are too enthusiastic with your dive and you have to pull out before you smash into the ground with somebody behind you yeah and acceleration is is not great at, uh, as well so it's not really uh, one of those uh, schnell bombers that the Germans have where you can escape in a dive from many fighters where you are faster. This plane is not that plane. Uh, control stiffening, as I said. Uh, then the stall speed is around 130. Which is, well, I guess it's, 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 it's pretty good for a, a bomber like this. I would say the, the firepower, it, this plane does not have any offensive guns. <clears throat> so with, with offensive firepower there is, is really no issue. I'm going low by the way, sometimes damaging myself a little bit because uh, it is quite difficult to uh, run column runs with this thing. You've got to be exactly precise. You, you have an option of two 250 kilogram bombs and 10 100 kilogram bombs. It's, it is ideal to attack um, columns like this. But I've always found you've got to get pretty close with this thing I don't know why maybe it's just me maybe I could keep a little bit more distance but this is what was working for me and I get a little bit of damage on the on the sides do get those medium tanks in <laughs> with accuracy um, so yeah uh, protection no offensive guns and a very limited turrets you have three turrets you have one 12.7 millimeter turret with 230 rounds with a 12.7 Barrison UB machine gun. And you have two 7.62 millimeter SCUS uh, turrets with one gun uh, with 750 rounds per gun. Uh, this is not good for its battle rating. This is a 3.0. 
and it it, it is just uh, the armament is severely lacking the coverage of these guns is severely lacking as well and there are several angles that you can attack this plane from uh, where it's going to be difficult to protect yourself um, well <laughs> yeah uh, there's not a lot of uh, maneuvering in some of the turrets so yeah the the, the protection is limited unfortunate um, so that is bad firepower is bad and the ammo load is only average 230 rounds for that Barrison machine gun that runs out very fairly quickly 750 on the 7.62 is, is good but uh, they're pop guns right I mean uh, they're all right you can start a fire but yeah limited limited uh, several uh, bomb options you have on this plane from two uh, 500s and a thousand to a combination of those two and you also have the more smaller uh, setups you have uh, 10 50s where you start with you have 10 100 kilogram bombs and you have a combination of 250s with 100s I chose that just to get after the, the vehicles and the um, the ground targets I didn't want to go uh, base bombing you can do both though you can do close air support with this thing and and uh, column running but you can also uh, use uh, the big setup with two 500s and a thousand kilogram bomb and go after uh, bases it's also possible stay high might be a little bit safer <laughs> well that's actually for sure but still um yeah you also have a torpedo so you can go after boats ships if you want but um yeah I'm not much of a torpedo user. I, I kind of hate that. And you get close to the ships, you often get put on fire, you get damaged these days. The AA guns are so massively improved that um, I get shot regularly now by uh, middle of the of the field AA guns at three, 4,000 meters and get severe damage from that. So yeah, attacking boats at a, at a torpedo dropping speed, that that's gonna be fun. That is that's not my uh, my kind of fun. Acceleration in this plane, in a straight line is very bad, in a dive it's it's above average, it's alright for a bomber. Energy retention is bad, both in the horizontal and in the vertical. Uh, this plane doesn't hold its speed very well. Now, the climb rate in this plane is also no more than average, so to really climb and get that base bombing done, to get to an altitude where you are safe from the fighters, is difficult. Um, and turning is also... Uh, it, it may actually be, it, it, I, would I would call it above average decent for a bomber, but it is still uh, quite tricky. But if, if I have to name one strong point for this plane, it is the, the capacity to turn, make loops like this, and uh, the maneuverability, that's all right. Plaps a rip off at 340 kilometers an hour, which I guess is all right for this plane, it's faster than any of its maximum uh, speeds in, in a straight line. Um, so yeah, th there is that, that's okay I guess. You have a bad roll rate, doesn't really roll very well. Uh, of course many bombers don't, but uh, this one doesn't either. Uh, overall maneuverability I would call average. Now there is no overheating in the plane, which is, uh, is alright. Uh, it's easily manageable. And the durability, despite a lack of armor, is good. The plane does not fall apart just like that. Look at the damage that I am pulling right now and I'm still running, flying without any problem. So that is definitely good. There is Stalinium in this plane. The, the Stalinium level on this plane is real. Oh yeah. No, but I, I mean, I, I've run around with a lot of damage and the plane takes you home. The engines seem very uh, solid. They don't just uh, drop dead very quickly from a little bit of damage you can still uh, get your plane home and I, actually my uh, my AA gun uh, was used to great effect there and without me actually looking and shooting myself it, uh, it shot somebody down that doesn't happen a lot in this plane by the way but uh, <laughs> hey man sometimes you get lucky and if you see the amount of damage I already have and I'm, I'm, I will get a little bit more damage um, you still capable of, uh, of taking this plane home and uh, th that is nice and I, I'm again I'm causing this damage myself um, it's light damage I take I took it for granted after missing some uh, I haven't bombed in a while right 
So uh, I think that after a while I would fly this plane a little bit higher to get these bombs off, but I needed it this time. I just uh, wasn't uh, practiced. And in my first few games where I tried to keep the altitude, not to uh, get into my own uh, splash damage, I uh, I hit my own plane a few times. But, uh, I, but oh yeah, but I, I no sorry, <laughs> I'm talking out of my ass. I uh, in the, those few first games I just uh, missed the targets a lot. So I decided I'm I'm gonna go down a little bit to make sure that I uh, I get it right and I get my targets. So yeah, I can show you actually some precision bombing. But once you get used to it and you you got it in, in your fingers again the the bombing, the ground target bombing. Um, you will be able to do that from a little bit higher up and, and get the targets as well with this precision. I just needed to go a little bit lower now because I was out of practice. <laughs> and then you have, you sometimes damage yourself a little bit. But anyway, as I said, this uh, base uh, is a base bomber, can be for you uh, with, uh, with the big loads, uh, the big bombs and with the smaller bombs, you get more of them and you can do good close air support with that. That is uh, very, very possible to perform well in both uh, roles. Now I got anti-mech in that 20 uh, target match, 20 kills. Uh, 36,000 silver lions and 10,000 research points for the vehicle. Let's, uh, I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Uh, this is a, a IL-4, a 3.0. Um, it wouldn't be my first choice, let's say it like that. Uh, the maneuverability is all right, and it, it can be a little bit of a weapon. Um, I have to take some lessons, I think, from uh, from Hitman, guy in my squadron who is specialized in bomber flying. I need to get into the gunners and be able to fly as well. I know that's possible in the in the uh, settings. I haven't done that yet. I'm lazy, so I'm just showing you what a regular player would do with it. But I am know for a fact that someone like Hitman or somebody that wants to specialize in these things. Make sure the options are that way that you can maneuver with your plane while you are in the gunner seat. Those kind of players that have done that can perform miracles with bombers. I, I, I've watched it, I've witnessed it and uh, it is an awesome sight to behold. And I want to give some more time to that so I'm going to ask Hitman to, uh, to uh, give me some pointers there. And uh, see if I can uh, mimic some of his uh, specialties. <laughs> <laughs> because he is a menace in a bomber. You don't want hitmen on your ass. If you see a bomber flying with enemy hitmen uh, in, in the tag, I, I would advise you to leave him for last. And uh, then you can have a nice fly out with him, but get get focus on other people first and, and see if you can win any other way before approaching him. Because he, he is truly good with, uh, with bombers. Anyway, guys, this is how you can use it uh, uh, with throwing bombs and... Um, in the future, who knows? I might, uh, I might start using these things as fighters. <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today. Make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.